Hey everybody, welcome to the Nintendo Power Couple, I'm Danny. And I'm Philia. So the last couple weeks have been really crazy for us and we've been dying to tell you guys all about it. So let's start off from the beginning. <laughs> right after the Switch presentation, the awesome guys over at Pixel Raider invited us over for our very own, very first podcast. <laughs> Now, Antonio was very warm and welcoming. It was our first podcast, and we had a blast talking Nintendo Switch, the presentation, the launch lineup of games. We talked about the controllers, everything Nintendo. So the link is in the description below. If you want to go give it a listen, let us know what you think. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to really like it. <laughs> so after all that Switch fun, something even crazier happened, and we had to keep it a secret that is until right now. Nintendo of America surprised us with a private gaming session playing the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Whoa, it was insane. If that wasn't crazy enough, they actually had the Nintendo crew film it, and we're gonna be featured on the latest episode of the Nintendo Minute. <laughs> what? Now, we filmed this before Nintendo Minute's latest episode aired, so we haven't seen it ourselves, but we are so excited to check out Kit and Chris's newest episode, and we'll be including a link in the description below. And how did this all happen? Well, let me tell you all about it. It all started when... We were invited to the Eventi Hotel in New York City for a secret Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World event. We even brought our giant Yoshi and his Mega Yarn Yoshi for the experience. However, once we got ushered into the hotel room, we got the full Jimmy Fallon Tonight Show treatment. Corey from Nintendo actually informed us that we weren't there to play the new Yoshi 3DS game at all. Instead, he lifted a giant question mark block off of the counter and revealed the Nintendo Switch console right before our eyes. And just like that, we were sitting on a couch surrounded by an awesome Nintendo crew playing the Switch for the very first time. And right off the bat, we got to play, I think, the most anticipated game of all history, yes. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Danny and I got to play the full 20 minute demo, which actually felt like it went by way too quick. Breath of the Wild was absolutely breathtaking. It felt so good to finally return to the world of Hyrule. I am absolutely in love. For me, Breath of the Wild felt like Link can really go anywhere. I mean, we both played it and, yeah. and we, we start out where you see Hyrule right in front of you and you can really go anywhere it felt. Um, I kept asking Cory things like, can I climb that wall or can I go down that hill? And Cory would just say, Try it, yeah. give it a shot, and I would, and it would work. I mean, it was really fluid from when Link would run, then he would jump, climb, and continue to run, jump, climb. It made you really want to explore Hyrule, and that was fantastic. And let me tell you, it's gonna take a long time to actually get Ooh. to explore all of Hyrule. <laughs> We both played the same 20 minute demo, but our experiences was completely different. I think like I went straight to the objective to kind of like carry the story along to get as much as I could out of it. <laughs> and Danny went and he just like explored the woods and everything. <laughs> waste of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but a great waste of time. It was yes. awesome just seeing you like explore and jump on things and do the shield sliding. <laughs> Insane. It was. It was yeah. a lot of fun. It really is. And we got to try it a few different ways. We got to play it with the Joy-Con and the Joy-Con grip, which felt really nice. Yeah. We also got to try it with the Pro Controller, which also felt equally as nice. It's yeah. a toss-up between the two, which one I think we would prefer. Both are really comfortable. <laughs> and we also got to play it on the TV and undocked handheld. Yeah. Although we love Zelda on the large TV screen, we were surprised by how much fun it was to play in handheld mode. The Switch is incredibly lightweight, and the picture was stunningly crisp. Now, Corey was awesome because he walked us through all of the controls and showed us how everything works with the game. And he even let us just explore and figure out things on our own. So it was awesome. Corey was so awesome and super helpful that we actually believe there should be a Corey bundle with every Switch at launch. I think you should get a Corey, a Joy-Con, a Switch, a dock. It, it makes sense, all bundled together. All of your essentials. All the essentials. <laughs> <laughs> now the cool thing was after all of this fun, he actually told us that we could try out another one of the much awaited launch titles, One Two Switch. Now, I was a little more skeptical on One Two Switch when I first saw the trailer, I'll admit. Yeah. But after having some hands-on time with the game and getting to play for, for about an hour, 
I fell in love. It is gonna be one of our games that we get on launch day and I can't wait to play it again. For sure. Now, I will tell you, it was a little weird at first <laughs> playing a video game and not actually looking at a TV screen, but once you start playing and you start getting into it and you start locking eye contact, <laughs> you start realizing that it's so much fun. It's definitely gonna be a huge party game. Yes, it will. Yeah. And uh, we got to test out six different mini games when we got to play. Uh, we even got to wear some funny costumes with them when we played some of the games, which I highly recommend for when you play this at parties. Uh, we had a blast. We started with one that is sure to be my dad's favorite, the gunslinging minigame Quick Draw. It's really a blast to stare into your opponent's eyes while waiting for the cue to draw. Next up, we played Milk, where you must try to milk a cow faster and better than your opponent. One thing is for sure, this is gonna bring a lot of laughs. We then got to test out Samurai Training, where one player must swing the sword down at their opponent, while the other player must clap their hands to catch the sword before it hits them. The best part is faking out the other player. After that, we played Copy Dance, where you must strike a pose and your opponent must quickly copy. It's great to see how many silly poses you and your friends can come up with. Another game we tried was Table Tennis. In this game, you must listen to the sound cues to play, so it was crazy to swing back and forth without seeing a ball. Advanced players can also hold particular buttons to lob the ball and also slice it to make it go faster. And finally, we got to test out that HD rumble in the Joy-Con with ball count, where you must rotate and shake the Joy-Con in your hand to guess how many marbles are inside. Let me tell you, it really felt like there were marbles actually inside of the controller. Now, if everything we're telling you wasn't crazy enough, uh, Nintendo was kicked it up a notch. When we were about to leave at the elevator, Kelly, who was super awesome and super nice, gave us this envelope from Nintendo of America with a letter inside, and it was thanking us for coming to play the Switch, which is so crazy, because <laughs> of course we love playing the Switch. <laughs> we should be thanking them. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, and they also, as a sign of a thank you, they wanted to send us our very own Switch, courtesy of Nintendo of America on launch. What? <laughs> As you guys can probably imagine, this entire thing has just felt like a dream to us. I think yes. you might actually have to pinch me for me to finally believe it. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> it's real, okay? <laughs> um, but on a serious note, uh, we want to give a huge, tremendous thank you to everybody who has helped make this dream a reality. Uh, we want to thank Kate and Kelly at Golan. You two are awesome for everything you've done for us. Thank you. Uh, we want to thank everybody at Team Nintendo of America who was there. Um, Corey, Eli, Jeff, Jamie. And we have camera and sound with Kirk and Matt. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you guys. And we also don't want to forget and we want to give a special thank you to Kit and Krista absolutely. of Nintendo Minute. Oh my gosh. Chatting with you guys the other day was absolutely so much fun. <laughs> and we look forward to hopefully working with you guys even more in the future. I mean, we watch Nintendo Minute it all the time so being a part of this was completely special to us so thank you guys so much thank you guys very much um if you guys can already tell by everything surrounding us we love nintendo and nintendo has played a huge part in our lives growing up i've been playing mario games since i was about three years old controller upside down and everything and i've been playing since i got my first super nintendo entertainment system philia and my family even threw me a surprise 30th birthday that was all mario themed it was so much fun so with all of that i actually don't think there's enough words in the english language to express how excited happy and absolutely grateful we are for this entire experience i mean the fact that a company that we have known and loved since we were little kids <laughs> to pull such a big surprise on us it has just been unbelievable. We are just so grateful. So thank you guys again. It means the world to us. It'll be a memory that we hold forever. Thank you, Nintendo. <laughs> Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, that's our impressions <laughs> of our hands-on experience with the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I cannot wait until we get our Switch console when it launches March 3rd, which is right around the corner. And don't forget Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I always joke when a Zelda game comes out, I'm, I just go into full hermit mode and play the game nonstop. But I think it's actually going to be both of us this time. We're going to grow out our beards and you're not going to see us. I think all <laughs> of our episodes in March are probably going to be like full hermit, full beard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God there's no smell-o-vision. That would be... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>
Uh, so, uh, what about you guys, though? Um, after the Switch presentation, what are some of the most anticipated games you're waiting for? Um, Golf Call Zelda. Yes. <laughs> um, and for those of you who were lucky enough to play it at the Switch event, what did you guys think? Sound off in the comments below. We would love to read them and keep the conversation going. For sure. And as usual, if you like this episode, be sure to check out and subscribe to the Nintendo Power Couple YouTube channel for more awesome Nintendo videos, including hauls and unboxings, Let's Play with Power, our stop motion Nintendo Mations, and so much more. And don't forget you guys can follow us on the various forms of social media using the information in the graphic below. We love posting photos of our ever-growing Nintendo collection and we give updates on our show, so be sure to check it out. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time... One, two, switch!